But you can see this defensive back here completely freezes. Watch the defensive back. He completely stops. He completely stops waiting for that receiver. You know what I mean? Like, this is insane. So, like I said, this is definitely the new best way to glitch this defense. <laughs> Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back YouTubers and Madden fans, this is Mad Money Shot, sniffing at the Madden cheese as always. Uh, got something special for you guys today. For people that are struggling with the new patch defense, thinking that deep passing is dead, uh, I found a way to pretty much glitch the uh, the new defense way easier than the old defense. Uh, and it's really something you can do from just about any single playbook in the game. Now I focused on the uh, 49ers playbook, which is what I'm in right now, because I know a lot of people uh, use the Niners playbook. I personally am going to go back to using the Niners playbook because of some of the plays that I found today. Um, but without a doubt, these are some of the glitchiest plays in the game. You're going to see when I set this up um, that, you know, this is something that easily glitches the new cover three uh, while it also uh, can glitch multiple other defenses as well. So I'm going to start off uh, with probably my new favorite play, which is probably also one of my favorite plays prior to this uh, video, and that's the PAF slide. I'm not going to be doing a scheme. I'm going to be showing you a play out of the PAF slide. I'm also going to show you a play out of the strong close that has the exact same effect. And then I might also show you guys, because uh, like I said, you can create this out of just about any playbook. So I might choose another playbook uh, and create this from that playbook at the end. So for people that don't run the Niners, that don't have these plays, that don't have these formations, towards the end of the video, um, I will show you guys how you can create this effect out of just about any play or any playbook in the game uh, because it's super simple to do. So like I said, I'm going to start off with this PAF slide because this is without a doubt, it's already one of my favorite plays. Uh, the running backs dinking and dunking people is already really hard to stop. Now I'm going to show you guys how to blow up the new cover three defense as well and also cover four. It actually beats cover four also. So let's go ahead and let's pick the PAF slide. Then on the defensive side, I try to give myself the best secondary possible, uh, which the uh, the Ravens have some of the best cornerbacks, just to show you guys that it really doesn't matter who you're doing this against. But we're going to start off, we're just going to go, we're going to give the defense an advantage here, but we're going to go ahead and go with Nickel 245, Cover 3 Sky. Now before I start this video, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at MMOXP.com. If you guys want to get your Mutt team up like mine, make sure to check them out. Link in the description below and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off. Now as far as this play goes, I already was a huge fan of this play based off of these running backs these running backs here uh, they pretty much get open against just about any man or zone uh, you know it's that's something that you can pretty much steal all game and doing that's gonna make the rest of this play really easy <coughs> When I broke this down originally as well, the B route here, um, if it's a man coverage, the B route is typically the route. But like I said, I'm going to focus more on a new way to home run and one play touchdown defenses than, than this. So the new way to hit a one play touchdown against uh, cover three especially, which is probably the, the defense that got patched the most and the hardest defense to beat right now as far as a one play touchdown goes, all you really have to do is streak the X route. Now, it's not necessarily going to work from this spot on the field. That's the important part about it. Uh, it does have the ability to cross this uh, cross the field as you see the A route as I actually got his I throw. Like I said, crossing routes take way too long. I don't want to wait for, uh, I mean, some of the crossing one play touchdowns in the game still work, but I don't want to wait for that. Here we actually got that glitch look, which I was talking about. Sometimes you can get it from the center of the field, sometimes you don't. Uh, but on that particular play, you saw it actually did happen. I'll go to the replay, and I'll show you guys how to get a much more consistent version of this. But for some reason, when you do a, uh, a play like this, this. Sometimes this defensive back here, you see he completely breaks away and passes this uh, responsibility off to the uh, safety, which he's completely out of position, as you can see. And I think that the reason that that happens is because these three uh, deep zones, they all communicate. So once this guy says, hey, I got nobody over here, I think he, they, they communicate, you know, this is something that happens in the programming. I think they communicate to uh, basically slide over. So he's dropping back. There's nothing there. So he's communicating that there's a crosser, and then basically that crosser is going to come into his area. And I think that's really what scrambles this up. As you can see, we just get a huge opening. But like I said, you're not always going to get that opening. There's a very uh, simple way to make sure that you always get this opening, where sometimes it's like 50-50, and I'll show you that in a minute. So like I said, we'll put that streak up again. So we're really just watching that cornerback. Like right there, he lagged off. I was actually a little bit late on the throw, but it doesn't really matter. So you can see, we that, that's the thing. You really have to throw the ball the second that that cornerback breaks off. Like I said, right here, he's doing it a little bit more often than I'm expecting. 
But like I said, right there, he didn't break away. Got to take the other route. It's really that simple. You can see they're both, you have two options. But if you want to guarantee that first look, all you have to do is, you know, run a toss play, run a stretch play, get the ball to the open side of the field. Now, I know that's going to happen. I'm just watching for that for that cornerback to, uh, to slow down. And essentially, we're just getting a super easy one-play touchdown. And I'm running this to Sammy Watkins, too. I'm not running this um, to Tyreek Hill. I'm not running this. Um, to McCole Hardman or somebody that's super fast. He's obviously fast. But like I said, you're really just watching this cornerback. If you if you know that you're on the, the right hash mark, and I don't know if I'm going to call this the hash mark glitch or the DB freeze glitch. I'm not really sure yet. But if you know you're on the right hash mark, you know that you're going to get this look. You can see this cornerback's dropping back. The second he starts to slow down and do this, you can throw the ball right now because he's lost all of his acceleration. And he's turning his attention to the other receiver. But that's really the animation you're looking for. Like I say, you're just staring that cornerback down. The second that he fades off, boom, I'm throwing that ball. I'm sure I'm throwing that ball. So let's go, let's go back and watch. Like I said, I'm already winding up because I can see him starting to slow down to take on that next guy. And that's the only separation I need. That other safety is way out of position. So it's pretty much a, a guarantee. Now, like I was saying, this was already one of my favorite plays. The PAF slide was already one of my favorite plays um, when it comes to a lot of different coverages, basically because basically of the running backs. But you can also hit a one-play touchdown against uh, cover four in this, uh, which is something that um, is definitely new as well. So I'm just going to go ahead. i got to find a cover four in this playbook. But yeah, definitely cover four. I'm talking about regular cover four, not cover four match. I'm talking about cover four drop. And we're going to do the exact same setup. Now, like I said, this one's not as good as the cover three by any means, uh, but it's definitely a, a play that you can make. So same setups, you know, basically just getting that uh, that drag there. And I don't know why um, why that cornerback reacts like that and lets it behind, but he does. You can see it's tight window. I'm not trying to, like I said, this is something that you can do, but I'm not saying that it's going to be the best way to, to run a cover four one play touchdown. I think the old cover four one play touchdowns are better, but you can see it has the same effect and it creates a space and an opening. And if it wasn't for the fact, I don't know why Tyree Hill keeps jumping. What's really messing this play up right now is the fact that Tyree Hill is jumping for the ball. I don't want that. I'd rather him just either catch and run or safe catch it. You can see right there, but it's a tight window, but it's possible. So I'm not trying to say, like I said, to me, the best one play touchdown against cover four cover four didn't change the same way cover three changed you can still hit one play touchdowns against cover four the old-fashioned way uh with the deep crosser splitting the safeties so let's go and let's move on to another play now like i was saying you can create this look out of just about any single play in the game you just need certain parameters one of them is going to be a tight formation like this you need two receivers one crossing one streaking and that's pretty much it so on a play like a formation like strong close which is really popular all you really have to do go with like the deep cross the pa deep cross which is a play that i put out recently uh the pa scissors should have that same effect uh the fl drive should have that same effect we're gonna go we're gonna go with the pa deep cross though so i'll pick that and then i'll go right back to uh cover three so here we are now different play like I said, all you really need is tight receivers to the line. You just need receivers in tight like this. Uh, I'm going to do the exact same setup, just streaking the X route. Now the B route is going to have the exact same effect against it. Although now I have Tyreek Hill in that spot, which should be even easier. And you can see there, I don't know what happened with that throw. The throw is way underneath. I'm going to go to the replay, though, because like I said, I'm going to call this the DB freeze glitch when I uh, when I clickbait the hell out of people, even though to me I think it's way worth it. But you can see this defensive back here completely freezes. Watch the defensive back. He completely stops. He completely stops waiting for that receiver. You know what I mean? Like, this is insane. So, like I said, this is definitely the new best way to glitch this defense. So, we're going to do that again. I can give myself, like, a check down and stuff, too. I haven't really, you know, gone over stuff like that. Um, just in case, for whatever reason, this doesn't work out. Here we go. We got that DB freeze again. I got sacked again. I don't know what. I should, probably should have kept the tight end blocking. So, we're going to do that one more time. So we're just going to bomb this up real easy. DB freezes again, and we're getting hellacious, easily, you know, the most explosive one-play touchdown against Cover 3 right now. Let's go and let's do this one more time. Like I said, just for posterity, even though it's really not, you know, this is as fast of a one-play touchdown as you're going to get as well. So without a doubt, you can see uh, I'm hitting one-play touchdowns against Cover 3 multiple ways. Like I said, to me, if, you, if you're if you not running this from the open side of the field, it's not nearly as effective. I'll run that one more time like this uh, from the center hash just to show you that, you know, this doesn't really, I mean, this play especially doesn't work. As you can see, the crossing route isn't as severe. So if you were to run it from a play like this, um, you probably have to try to, I mean, this route's just too short to have the effectiveness of, um, you know, of the, uh, the, the way that the other play did because this B route here, it just doesn't angle enough. 
So that route is pretty much, you know, you don't have that secondary route. Although there, obviously, come back to the ball, you do. So now, like I said, I was going to get at the end of the video, I was going to pick a completely random playbook, and I was going to create uh, the exact same uh, one-play touchdown look out of just about, I mean, I can't say any formation. What you need, you need something that has receivers tight to the line, like this play, like the week close here. But you also need a deep crossing uh, route, not, not the PA boot, that wouldn't work. Um, so you need something that's deep, like a deep crossing route uh, to make this work. I bet I can make it happen. It also, you know, you can motion in a receiver. Like I could probably make it happen out of something here if we had a deep crossing route. Um, I'll probably check out the gun bunch, like the bunch ace here. That probably would, like right there, the PA fork shot. I got the deep crossing route. I'm willing to bet that this formation is tight enough. So we'll go ahead and pick the one, the play at the bottom there. So like I said, this play here, if I could motion this guy in, it'd be even better. But I think he's in close enough. So we're going to streak him. We're already to the, uh, to the, to the side to the you know to the right hash mark here we're gonna put the b route on a smart route because i feel like he's kind of he's a little bit too far he's a little bit too deep and then we're just going to streak the a route block and running back because this is pretty much the look i mean i could probably drag the a route it really doesn't matter the only routes that i need are the b route and the x route so this should do it just as long as like i said right there boom he freezes up and then we get a wide open touchdown and then obviously this dude doesn't have patrick mahomes arm but you can see it's the exact same way uh, as it was the other play the guy freezes up I'm going to do this one more time. I'll streak that A route this time just to see if it makes a difference. Because I, ha I did I did have it working originally with that streak. And now you can see it's the exact same thing. We're just getting super easy one play touchdowns against cover three. So those are the parameters. The most important thing. Tight formation for people that run gun tight. You can probably run gun tight and just motion in the receiver on the left. But you need a tightly packed formation. You need a cross, a deep crosser, and you need to just basically streak this X route and run it from the open hash mark. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, do me a favor. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching Mad Wish It Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.